The London Library here is my favourite place to work. It was founded in 1841 by Thomas Carlyle, not actually in this building, they came here a little bit later. But it is the living, breathing essence of the Victorian era here. I mean, actually, you've just got to walk in and you can smell it. It's got pretty much every book ever printed. You can actually walk around the stacks and see the books. So I spend a lot of time browsing. Whenever I'm stuck, I just sort of take a tour around the shelves and I often find something that makes you think, oh, yeah, that'd be interesting, or yeah, maybe I'll go that way. It's the most glorious place, and I think that if you're a writer, it's very important to be around other people who are working, because, you know, if you can write it, you can get very lonely. So I find if I come here, then I'm surrounded by other people who are sort of focused on their endeavours, and it reminds me that sort of life goes on, and that I'm not the only person in the world. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get something done. If I really want to drill down into the detail or just find out what was on people's minds at the time, I like to go and have a look at the newspapers, the Times, and just see what people are writing about and what people are thinking about. To be honest, I don't think I could have written Victoria without the London Library. This is the most fantastic uh, place. And there's nothing like going into the shelves and finding a book that's sort of printed in the year that you're writing about and just sort of seeing what was on people's minds then. It sort of instantly takes me back to the past.